Jinong Yay Kaya Kaya Wandu Hello and welcome. My name is Simon Forrest Burungo. And I'm a Wajak Baladong Nunga with King Connections to Yamaji and Wongai peoples. I'm also elder in residence at Curtin University and here to give a welcome to country. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Curtin University's 50 Years of Innovation Gala Dinner. My name is Tracy Vaughan, I'm from Channel 9, but I'm also honoured to say that I'm a Curtin alumna. I graduated from the School of Journalism in 2004. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a truly wonderful sight to see you all out there, and I, it's, uh, it's such a pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the Vice-Chancellor and myself. Tonight, we celebrate what has been achieved in the last 50 years. We acknowledge that Curtin has come of age, and we are honoured to do so in the company of so many of our colleagues, partners and friends. Across the world, great universities infuse their communities with a spirit of innovation and entrepreneurial vision, and Curtin University shines brightly among them. I'm now delighted to introduce our Vice-Chancellor, Professor Deborah Terry Ao. Ladies and gentlemen, it is wonderful to have so many of our partners and friends here for this very special evening. Tonight is a night of celebration of the past, of the present and the future. We salute Curtin's journey from an institute of technology to a global university. We applaud the success that comes from working together towards a common goal. And we anticipate what the future might hold for one of this state's great institutions. I'm privileged to be Vice-Chancellor of this great university in our 50th year. But the success belongs to the state, to all of you here tonight, to those leaders on whose great shoulders I stand, and to our students, our staff and our alumni. I also applaud and thank all of you here who have contributed to Curtin through your wise council, through our advisory boards and council, and through your philanthropic support. Your support magnifies our impact in so many ways, and you are all wonderful ambassadors for the power of education. Our institution was born out of ambition and out of a deep understanding that powerful economies and stable and strong civil societies have at their core world-leading and engaged universities. It has been a tale worth telling of a successful journey of which we should all be very proud. So now I ask how bright is the future for one of WA's great institutions? We'll just watch this space. Watch as Greater Curtain comes to life and we double our on-campus student accommodation and we attract industry partners to co-locate on campus. And watch as we deepen our global partnerships, always with an eye on delivering benefit back to WA. As we secure our position as a core component of a vibrant innovation ecosystem, driving new industries and new jobs as we remain focused on fulfilling our obligations to regional WA, and as we ensure that our students are equipped with the advanced skills and perspectives so essential for their future success. And watch as more and more of our grad graduates step forth as role models, as leaders, and in ways that will inspire us all as they shape the future to be a better, stronger, and fairer place for those who follow us. In doing so, I assure you that we will remain true to those qualities of inclusion, engagement, and innovation that so define this great university. And we will do this at the same time as, as, as ensuring that we continue to meet our namesake, it's imperative that above all things, the university must have a soul and must look ever forward. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to invite you to view a short video that honours weight and curtain leaders across the decades. 
Curtin thanks all of its wonderful chancellors and vice-chancellors who over the past 50 years have helped shape it into the successful global university it is today. Curtin has continued to transform and adapt over time to innovate and respond to co the community and the needs of industry. It had a good base to build from as the West Australian Institute of Technology, and it is appropriate to celebrate the excellent university, which is now 50 years old. I applaud the bold thinkers and leaders of Waite and Curtin and the students who have worked together to shape the organisation over the past decades. Congratulations again to Curtin University on this significant anniversary. Uh, I am um, very privileged uh, to be here this evening for this uh, very, very important event. Uh, and as we know, uh, Curtin's anniversary, its 50th uh, anniversary, is a significant event uh, in the state's and nation's calendar. Curtin excels in making Western Australia fairer. The effort that Curtin goes to to engage with students from backgrounds that haven't traditionally been engaged in education is outstanding. And in all fields of endeavour, people from all sorts of backgrounds come to Curtin, get an education and have a more fulfilling, successful, a better life than they would otherwise have had. But Curtin is also engaged in making Western Australia a stronger place. There is not an institution west of Geelong that has more international students than Curtin University. It saw the opportunity early. It has uh, thousands of students from around the world, in particular the countries uh, to our north, an important income earning stream for the university, but also uh, for the state. Uh, the institution has grown from 3,000 students 50 years ago to 60 or so thousand students today, 20, 220,000 alumni. Uh, engaging with all sorts of industries, making sure that Western Australia is at the forefront of innovation, technology, advancement and success. I look forward to that, to that success continuing for the next 50 years and beyond. Thanks very much. We are very proud to be making our contribution to the future of this great state and helping to build its profile and its reputation internationally. Our partnerships with government business, industry, and the community are so important in bringing this mission to life. I'd like to invite you now to watch a short video that celebrates some of the rich and diverse partnerships that Curtin enjoys today.